Welcome back to KTR Videos. Today we're going to be having some science experiment fun using this mind-blowing science kit. Let's open up the box. Okay, it looks like it just comes with one bag full of everything we're going to need. Okay, so in the bag, it comes with a few of these plastic uh, cups. It comes with a little stand, I'm assuming for our test tubes. It comes with a bag of sticks and spoons and it looks like a dropper. It comes with the instructions. I'm assuming this is the instruction book. So we know how to carry out all of our experiments. It comes with three test tubes. Comes with some vegetable oil. And last but not least, it comes with some packages of uh, different things here. So, got some of this stuff here, um, some color tablets, just different things, baking soda, red cabbage juice, citric acid, and some cornstarch. And that's it. Okay guys, so our first experiment is called dancing powders, and it's pretty simple. So I have this cup here, and it's on top of the plate, just in case anything spills over. And I simply have to take two scoops of baking soda, and two scoops of citric acid, and I'm gonna put it into this cup. I'm gonna swirl the cup around just to kind of mix in the powders. And then I'm gonna take this cup of water and add to the powders, and then we're gonna see what it does. So let's go ahead and start doing this. Okay, time for the fun part. Whoa, look at that! It's bubbling and sizzling. This next experiment is called color changing liquids. And so for this experiment, I need two cups of water as you see on the plate, just in case it spills. And to each cup, I'm going to add a small scoop of red cabbage juice powder. Now keep an eye on the water because the water is supposed to turn purple. Ooh, look how cool that is. It's like a waterfall. And now, let's add some to the next. Okay, before I add this in, let's zoom in a little bit more. Okay, here we go. That is so neat, isn't it? Wow, look at it go, it's almost like lava. Next, I'm going to add a scoop of some baking soda to one of the cups, and then to the other cup, I'm going to add a scoop of citric acid. So, grab my scoop. And let's see what color it changes to with the baking soda. Okay. 
Here we go. Now I have to stir it. And, oh, that's pretty cool. I don't think you can really tell. Let me zoom in and see if that helps a little bit. But what just happened, can you tell? Can you see a little bit better? I don't know if you can, but this actually did turn bluer. So this became blue. And now we're gonna see what color this one becomes when I add the citric acid. So let's go ahead and add that now. Okay, here we go. And I'm gonna stir it. Ooh, that's neat. Now this one became red. That's really cool. So we went from two purple cups of water to a blue one and a red one. Okay, next I'm going to take, remove these two cups for now. And um, next it says that we should mix a little bit from each of these cups. So first we'll put some blue. And now we'll add some red. That's pretty cool. So now it kind of turned back to purple. Okay guys, next what we're gonna do is I'm going to add another scoop of the baking soda which is going to make it even darker, like back to blue again. And then from there, once it's like really dark, I'm gonna add some more citric acid so we can see how the color changes again. And one more scoop. And I'm gonna stir it. And now it's starting to turn blue again. Now I'm going to add some citric acid and we're going to watch it change. So keep your eyes on the water. And here we go. Ooh, watch it fizzle. Look at that. That's really neat. You see how it's like slowly changing? It doesn't happen right away. It just goes little by little. That's really cool. Let's see what happens if I add a little bit more. And if I keep adding, it just gets redder and redder. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> that is so cool. Okay, for this next experiment, I am super excited because we're going to be making some jiggly crystals. So to do that, I'm going to take these two cups of water and then this one, I'm gonna add some baking soda. And then this one, I'm gonna add some citric acid. Now I'm going to add one small scoop of the red cabbage powder to each of these cups. Okay, next I'm going to take another cup and I'm going to mix a little bit of this and a little bit of this and the next step, I'm going to put these three cups here. Next, I'm going to take two scoops of this stuff right here, which by the way, I don't even want to attempt to say that. I think I could say it in Spanish, but I don't think I could say it in English. In Spanish, it's copolimero de poliacrilato, but in English, I don't even want to attempt it. <laughs> Spanish is easy because you just read it the way it's written. But anyway, I'm going to take two scoops of this. I'm going to add it to each of these cups. Alright, that's it. So now I will let it sit for one hour and we'll come back to it. 
Okay, you guys, I think our jiggly crystals have been sitting for an hour, so let's check them out. So here's the blue one. And oh, wow, look at these. That's really cool. So all of those hard uh, crystals that I added to it, um, hard, uh, I don't know, they kind of like, I guess they absorbed the liquid and became these jiggly looking crystals. But look at this before I show you the other colors too. Um, let me zoom in a little bit here. Now I see why they call them jiggly crystals because they're not just blobs of, of um, squishy things. It actually looks like, as you can see, it looks like a crystal, but they're not hard. <laughs> That's really, really neat. Okay, we have some purple ones. And we also have these red ones, or they kind of look pink actually. And here are all of our crystals. These are so neat and they're actually really pretty to look at because they look like crystals. So they're really pretty to look at and they're so slimy. This is really neat, you guys. And look how pretty that is when they're all mixed together. That is so cool. I definitely recommend this set to anybody. This is so much fun. For this next experiment, we're going to need these test tubes full of water and these color changing tablets. And it's just basically gonna be a simple color changing experiment. So, I'm gonna take my tablets. So it looks like I got a yellow one, a red one, and a blue one. And I'm gonna put the blue one here. And it's starting to fizzle. I don't know if you guys can see that, but you'll see it with this one right here. So it's starting to fizzle and change colors. And I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit until the um, tablets have dissolved. Now that the tablets have dissolved, let's take a look at each of these colors. So we get our blue water. We got our red water. And we got our yellow water. And what we're going to do is I'm gonna take this, this uh, clear glass here, and we're gonna start mixing some of these colors. Okay, let's take some blue water. And mix it in with the yellow. Now what color do you think that will make? Now we got green. Now we're gonna add some red to this green one. So again, here's that green one. And it gives us a darker, almost like a purplish color. Let's add some more. Let's add some blue. And let's add the yellow. So if we add all the colors together, it just becomes one dark mess. <laughs> That's really cool. This next experiment should be lots of fun. It's called Magic Ooze. And for this, I have a bowl with an eighth a cup of water, which is not a lot of water. I don't think you can really even see it. Um, I'm gonna add some red food coloring, so you should be able to see the water now. And next, it calls for five tablespoons, tablespoon of cornstarch. And here's the cornstarch. Okay, now that I have it mixed, 
Let's see. I have to say this stuff is actually really, really cool. Um, so if you look at it, it looks like a liquid, right? It just looks like a, like a soup or something. Like if I pick it up, it looks like a liquid. But look at this. If I try to stab it, I can't because it's like it's like a salad at the same time. So if I pick it up, I can like make a ball, a ball real quick. So I'm gonna make a ball. Okay, ready? Here I go, you guys. And then it changes to liquid. Let me do that again. Let me do that one more time for you guys. So I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna quickly mash it up into a ball. Okay, here it goes, ready? And then it just changes right back into a liquid. That is so cool. So I don't know what this is, but that's really neat. So it's a salad when you pick it up and squeeze, and then it quickly turns into a liquid. Okay, here's that ball one more time. And then, bam, that is so cool, oh my gosh. Okay guys, we're going to end this video with our last experiment, which is called the underwater volcano. That sounds so exciting. So in this test tube, I already have some warm water. Now I'm gonna add a scoop of baking soda, and then I'm gonna shake the test tube uh, to dissolve the baking soda. Okay, now that it's shaken, the next step is to add one small scoop of red cabbage powder, and then I have to gently shake it again until the water is blue. And now I have to fill um, the up to like this point right over here, I have to um, fill it up with vegetable oil. Okay, I'm gonna stop there. Oh, look how neat that looks already, you guys. Oh my gosh. All right, now time for the fun part. So I have to take a scoop of citric acid. And I'm gonna add it to our volcano and it should erupt. So here we go. So here we go, three, two, one. See, oh, oh my gosh, that is so neat. Wow, let me move this up a little bit. Oh my gosh, you guys, that is so neat. Wow, let me turn this a little bit so you guys can see. Oh my gosh, look at that. Wow, that is so cool. I'm gonna add another scoop and see what happens. And there it goes again, whoa! <laughs> that is really cool. Look at that, I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see the action down below. Look at that. You see all of it bubbling and boiling? Look at that, that is so cool. That's it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Also, leave us a comment and tell us which experiment was your favorite. Mine is a toss up between the underwater volcano and those jiggly crystals. Well, until next time guys, bye. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video and want to see more like it, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out our Spanish channel.